pieces and now we're using our new grinder to grind up the meat and I'll tell you right now that it's much better than store-bought because there's no smell whatsoever I'm not saying that the store-bought is bad it's just that it you can just tell the freshness it's just so much fresher wouldn't you say honey yes yeah it's much fresher there's no smell whatsoever So fresh looking. Changed up the grinding head. The grinding head. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> so that just to make it more fine. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do it a second time now. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's the pork that was ground the first time, and now we're gonna do it a second time with a uh, different um, grinding head. We think that's what it's called, and to make it more fine. Hell, look at all that pork. It was awesome. From about a 50 pounder. From a 50 pound. A little under. A little under 50 pound pig. Of course, it's been deboned, taken off the bone. And we kept the ribs. And we kept the ribs. So this is the ribs. We kept the ribs to smoke them later uh, for a different occasion. <laughs> Awesome. Can't wait to cook it and see how it tastes. We decided not to season it ahead of time. We decided we'll season it as we cook it and just see how it tastes because we're hoping we can use it as pork but also maybe use it in some recipes that call for ground beef just to see how it tastes. What do you think about it? Uh, we didn't have any problems. No? Nothing. Hogged it, it down or yeah, and it, and didn't, it didn't overheat, didn't, and that was didn't one thing. Get hot at all? Yeah, that was a lot of meat. Yeah, it was a lot of meat, and that was one thing that we read on the reviews on other ones is they overheated, and that's something we did not want to happen. We didn't want to have to deal with overheating. So, and this was around one seventy. Amazon. Was, yeah, Amazon one seventy. It's kind of a so, mid level entry level. Yeah, grinder. so it's good if you're just now starting off. It's perfect it had a lot of gadgets that came with it a different uh grinding heads that you could sausage use sausage stuffer sausage stuffer patty maker and some kind of indian thing. yeah a bunch of different things that it's a perfect starting one if you're not looking to spend a ton of money but it was it's not the top of the line but it's definitely not the bottom of the line 
So we highly recommend this one. And here's the name of it again. And we'll put the link below. So anyway, we 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 like it. Mm -hmm. I decided to start double sealing my bags because a few came open in the freezer. So I read that you can double seal them to make it more secure. going to be enough for us so we will try to make this bag just a little too big but so I could probably cut back save a little bit but I'm going to flatten this down that way it'll fit in the freezer just a little better As you may have seen in my other videos, I'm a big fan of the vacuum sealer. I'm getting ready to cook up some pork for tacos, and we'll see how that tastes. We didn't season our pork ahead of time, so we can just eat it and see if it tastes as good as ground beef for tacos. I'm gonna seal this one more time. Just to make sure. So I'll just hit the, the seal button instead of the vacuum seal. There's two different buttons that you can use. There you go. Now they're ready for the freezer. End up getting 14 uh, pounds and four ounces of ground pork. Pretty awesome.